Hello friends from beautiful Florida. Um, this is the time of the year we all say this is why I live in Florida because the weather is like perfect. Um, I just wanted to pop on live today and give everybody an update. I know yesterday I was not feeling good. I have, it's been a rough couple of days. Um, but I'm feeling much better today so I just wanted to let everybody know so nobody worried. Um, yeah, so cancer treatment is no joke, and sometimes it just all can get a bit overwhelming. Um, so I have, I did, those of you that don't know, um, I was diagnosed back March 31st. I actually found my lump on February 2nd, so it's been more than a year now um, for all the things. It's been a year. Um, because even in the beginning, you're getting tests and scans and doctor's appointments and all the things. So it's, it's been more than a year now. Um, and so it's just getting to be a long time. And sometimes I'm just over it. And I just want to be regular. <laughs> I won't say normal because there's, there's not really normal. But regular, right? I just want to do regular. Um, so I uh, was diagnosed at the end of March. I started chemo in April last year. I did six months of IV chemo, very strong IV chemo, and Keytruda, which is an immunotherapy, and it's fairly new treatment for triple negative breast cancer. Um, so there's not, I mean, there's a lot out there now, but uh, relatively, there's very few people that have done that particular treatment. So um, knowing the long-term effects and the um, just different effects of it, we're just unsure, right? So um, after chemo was done, I had surgery. So I really, my brain was focused on surgery. Um, and that was tough to heal from and get through, but I did. Um, about a month later, I was feeling much better. And then after I was healed from surgery, I realized my body is wiped out. Like my joints hurt, everything is weak. And I think mostly my joints hurt, well, for a couple of reasons. One, Keytruda, that can be a side effect, joint pain. Um, two, I eat what I can, because at that time my taste buds hadn't come back yet, and so I was just eating whatever I could. So I'm not eating the best right now, and honestly, I just eat what makes me happy. <laughs> and that can cause inflammation, I know this, in my joints, because um, when Dave and I changed all of our eating habits a while back and lost a bunch of weight, that's one of the big things that changed for me was joint pain. Um, and now I'm eating some of those foods again. And so I think that's not helping my joints. Um, the other thing is I sit a lot and I have a lot less activity and exercise than I used to. My muscles are weak. They're very weak. And I know from um, going to physical therapy for some knee pain way, way back, that was the first thing they did. They build up the muscles around your knee so it has support on your joint. And so if my muscles are weak, my joints are gonna hurt. So, um, so I have inflammation, I have joint pain, I have weak muscles, um, and I'm just, everything is stiff and sore and hard to get moving. And then if I move it too much, it hurts too. So there's that. And then after surgery, um, I did six weeks of radiation. I had 28 radiation treatments. You can see one of my situations right there. This one actually doesn't really hurt. It mostly itches. Um, and then I have just some general pinkness around my left breast area, but my biggest problem is under my arm, um, under my armpit is like really dark. And then behind that, you know, where your, your fat for your bra, like pokes out <laughs> like that area, um, uh, right behind your armpit in the very tender spot of your back, like if somebody pinched you there, it would really, really hurt. Um, that is burned pretty good. It's pretty good. And it's really sore. And because it's under my arm, when my arm rubs or my shirt rubs, like it just gets inflamed and really sore. Um, so the last few days it's really hurt because what they, well, they do tell you, but um, what some people don't, it doesn't sink in really you get through radiation and you're like, okay, I'm done radiation. Great. I'm barely burned. Cause I was barely pink when I finished radiation. And then a week later, like you continue to burn, even though you're not getting treatment. So a week later, this burn has appeared, um, after treatments have been all over. I finished radiation. It'll be two weeks tomorrow. So this appeared like a week after treatments were all done. Um, and so that's really hard because you're like, whew, done with radiation, check it off. 
only it's not done yet. Um, that burns are still coming out. This got worse. This one got worse. Um, everything just got a little worse before it got better. And so I've continued to have to put my Aquaphor and my creams. I got Sylvadine cream. I got steroids. I've got Aquaphor. I've got lotions. I've got all the things. <laughs> and I put them on multiple times a day. And Aquaphor, as you know, is super greasy. So I wear, like, um, I can't wear a bra. I tried once and I'm like, nope, that ain't happening. Um, so I wear these little lightweight, really thin tank tops under my shirt to kind of soak up some of the greasy and give me a little support. Um, which I don't need completely, but it just feels better. So, um, so that is work, right? It's work to put on the lotion every day and to just be sore. And then the other part of that is after surgery, because you have to hold, I had a double mastectomy. And so with reconstruction, so I have expanders, um, before I get my implants. And so you had to hold your arms down really still for several weeks. Um, which did not do me any favors in my shoulders. And I got a little bit frozen in shoulder. And so now with this burn, it was starting to get better, but with this burn, I've kind of held my arms and not really used my arm much. So now my shoulders really hurt again and they're, my range of motion is not good again. And they just, they hurt and they're sore and they're stiff and everything is not good. And then the other present that radiation gave me I have um, cording. So cording is when basically it's scar tissue that builds up in the lymphatic system because I had five lymph nodes removed. So when you have lymph nodes removed, you get some scar tissue and radiation can make that worse and make that happen. So I have some cording and it, so it goes under my arm and it's just like thick, literally like cording, but it goes all the way down past my elbow into my lower arm. And so that makes it sore, like it hurts. Um, it impedes my range of motion and it makes my arm really weak. Like I can't, if my water cup, I have one of those stainless steel water cups. If that's full, I can't hold it with my left hand. It hurts. Like that's how weak my arm is. So there's that, right? And then <laughs> like it just keeps piling on. So I finished radiation, I'm dealing with these burns, and last Tuesday I started on my oral chemotherapy medication. So because after surgery, my five lymph nodes that they removed, three of them still had cancer tumors in them that were significant size that we had to deal with it. Sometimes you have just little micro pieces left over and they don't worry about it so much. We've removed it, it's basically worked, it's fine. But mine were significant enough in size that they're like, mm -mm, we don't like that. So um, they've added uh, an oral chemo for me um, and I've started back on my Keytruda. So the Keytruda was planned anyway. I, I knew I was gonna have to do that. I had planned on starting it with radiation, but because they added the oral chemo, I, I got to wait till radiation was over. So now I do my Keytrudas every three weeks and then I take my oral chemo pills every day, twice a day. Um, and I go two weeks on and one week off for six months. So until July. So last week was my first week. This is the second week. And chemo, um, like IV chemo, it's cumulative. So the more you take, the more effect builds up and that you feel. So after the first week I was, I was okay. It, it was fine. Not too bad. I had like a dull headache when I first started. Ooh, excuse me. Um, I tend to get hiccups. <laughs> more often which is really weird um and burpee but um so I had like a dull headache when I first started I think it was just my body getting used to things but after um a few days that went away and um I was okay the first week but the last couple of days I've just been really tired like it hit me yesterday afternoon and I was just like I am done like I cannot do anything um felt better after a good night's sleep and then I took Christopher to the store this morning and then we were going to go to another store and I'm like, you know what? I don't think I can. I think we need to go home and I just needed to sit and rest. So, um, I get really tired and I'm starting to feel the fatigue more, um, these last couple days, but, but like, I'm okay. Like I'm okay, but I'm not okay. <laughs> um, and so I'll just sit, I sit on the couch and I rest. And then sometimes I can get up and do one thing. So I got up, I made some zucchini bread, and then I have to rest again. And then I'll get up and do something, and then I have to rest again. Um, so it's just a lot. It's just a lot. 
So I'm tired all the time. I'm tired of being tired. I want energy. I want to be able to go and do all the things that are in my brain. Um, my body hurts. My joints hurt. My shoulders are stiff. And my burns, like, if you've ever had a really bad sunburn, like, ugh, I'm over it. I'm over it. And um, I'm just ready for it to get better. So um, sometimes it just all piles up and overwhelms. But then you go to bed and you get up and start again. So we started again today and we'll start again tomorrow. Um, so yeah, so that's where I'm at. I'm generally, I'm fine. I'm okay. But you know, just all these things, they're very annoying. It's just really annoying. The routine of it all is getting old. So the other fun thing about being on chemotherapy and having just on radiation, cause radiation dries you out too, but chemotherapy especially, um, is the routine of trying to hydrate my body, right? So not just drinking water. I also drink um, like a salt mixture in my water and I put lemon in it too. So it tastes good. Um, so trying to hydrate that way. But I also like every day I put drops in my eyes multiple times a day. I lotion up in the morning. I lotion up in the afternoon. I lotion up in the, af in the evening before I go to bed. Um, I have to put grease up my spots. I have to, um, I have a special mouthwash after I brush my teeth for my dry mouth. I have special lotion for my hands and feet because this oral chemo can give you um, hand and foot syndrome, which is where your hands get real um, tingly, they get red, they can peel. So one of the things they told me to do is to moisturize your hands and feet regularly. So with a special lotion that has urea in it, if you've ever heard of that. Um, so I bought lotion with urea in it and I do my hands and feet every morning and every night like it's just getting old it's old I'm just I'm done <laughs> but I just have a few months more just a few more months we just have to get to July and then all you sensey people I will see you in North Carolina so you better come because I'll be there and we will be celebrating that this whole craziness will be over um and then I will just have one more reconstruction surgery and I'm planning on that being the end. Like there's not going to be any more problems. There's not going to be any more situations and we're going to be all finished and life will go on. <laughs> that's, that's the plan. So yeah, it's just been a lot. It's a lot. Um, so yeah, so I'm finishing up my week of pills. Next week is my week off of pills, which doesn't mean I won't have side effects because sometimes the side effects are actually worse on your week off because you know the cumulative thing um but I won't have to think about taking pills every day which is nice um I also have to eat before I take these pills because it can um, be really hard on the digestive system if you know what I mean so and I don't normally eat until 11 o'clock and I've got to take these in the morning so eating in the morning and then eating again late at night before I take them again like it's been a lot I don't usually eat that much so that's tricky but, um, and finding things that I can eat that are just little bits that are filling enough to help with the pill. It, it's a whole thing. But anyway, thank you all for listening. I think I just unloaded it on everybody, so that's okay. Um, now you know where I'm at and what's going on. Otherwise, life goes on. All is well. Christopher and I do school every day, most days. We do it most days <laughs> for a couple of hours in the morning. And then we do whatever errands we need for the afternoon or we go to Nerf Wars or we go to um, the gym or we go to something. Um, we do groceries. We do all that, whatever we need to do in the afternoon. And then that's pretty much it. I sit on the couch and I watch videos and I watch TV and I do a little sensey here and there from my, from my chair, from my couch. And, uh, that's that's pretty much it for now. Baseball's ramping up though, so that we'll be sitting at the baseball field here soon. That'll be the thing. It's good though. I enjoy going to the baseball field. Um, it's fresh air, fresh air and sunshine, and the weather's really good right now, so I don't mind. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys are all having a better week than me. It's actually not that bad a week. It's just hard to be tired. Um. Side note, just noticing the hair is coming in very well, if I do say so myself. I'm ready for a ponytail again, but, you know, I'll take what I can get for now. Not too bad. Hmm. We'll talk to you guys again soon.